Okay, today we're going to look at a couple oil filters that fit some Saab vehicles. Yup, some good old Saab engines. And a viewer named John Rosen sent these in to me. Thanks John. You can get the OEM Saab filter at eSaabParts.com for $8.69 plus shipping. And you can get the mail filter at Rock Auto for $4.08 plus shipping. They both fit some of the same vehicles, with the oversized mail filter fitting a slightly lower amount of the same vehicles. I'll put a chart up on the screen showing some of the vehicles that these filters fit. I'm sure you Saab owners will know which filters fit your vehicle. And these two are going to duke it out. It could get ugly folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is Okay, let's start with the Saab OEM filter, made in Poland. There's really no other information on this box, so let's open her up, see what she looks like. Date code, 3121021. And here's the filter number, 5556020. Six inlet holes, looks like a bypass valve down below, metal core with holes. And there's about four grooves there, and nitro rubber gasket, which is on here pretty good. Yeah, it's on there, it's on there okay. Okay, let's look at the male oil filter. Mail oil filters got a unique date code because you got to use a UV light to look at it. And really, only the last six numbers matter. That's what the date code is. So it's 290720. Made in Austria. She also has six inlet holes. And about four grooves there. Nitro rubber gasket, which is on here pretty good. Yep. We'll compare them later. And this filter is kind of a new design. I'll put a little clip up here. And John gave me a link to this video. And I'll put it in the descriptions down below. There's a full minute version of this video online, but I'll just show a little version of it. We'll see it better after it's all cut open. Yeah, they got they're totally two different filters and two different sizes, but they, like I said earlier, they fit some of the same vehicles and some of them this one's too long for but you guys that have the sobs will know which one you could put these on so i say we cut these guys open see what they look like inside okay so i cut these open and the sob filter is really really tough and before i go any further i'm not sure how this filter is made but you know I cut this open like this and there doesn't seem to be any end caps but it's got this stuff all the way around it it's almost like a glue and this don't come out either and I'm wondering if this thing is glued inside here right to the edge all the way around so I might have to cut it open like this I don't know I'm going to fool around with it a little more and see what it's like but just figured I'd show you guys this part so far yeah it's strange not much of a any drain back valve either and the male filter that coil spring bypass valve down here but if you look in here look at this 
So first off, I'm going to get at this one here, and I'm going to see if I can get this out of here. If it doesn't come out, I'll have to cut it. And this is the OEM sub filter. All right, be right back. Okay, the Saab oil filter weighs 277 grams, and the male oil filter weighs 362 grams. Base plates, Saab is 126 grams, and the male is 121 grams. Let's take a look at these base plates. They look pretty similar, except for the shininess on this one. Well, they're a little different, but the holes are about the same. Threads are about the same. They weigh almost the same. Let's take a look at the gaskets on them. Okay. The Saab is on my right. It's a little bit bigger, a little thicker. And the male is on the left. Pretty equal on base plates. Now anti drain back valves, both nitro rubber. A little bit different in shape. Check these out later. The filter media, this guy here gave me a lot of trouble. I had to cut it open. You know, it's glued right here and on here. It was glued right to the filter. The um, you know, the can, the canister itself. It's glued right in there, so I couldn't get it out. So I split it there. Well, kind of a pain. Let's see what the can weighs on this one. 70, 80 grams. Actually, let's go with the filter media first. 66 grams. And on the male, it weighs 130 grams. Okay, we'll check all that out later. We'll check this out. It clicks. It's a strange design. And I counted 58 pleats. And this is probably the seam right here where they got all the glue. Yeah, it's glued right to the right to the can itself. And the filter media looks good though. It's you know it's spaced pretty good. All looks good. And let's look at the male here. The male has got 54 pleats. And I believe this is the uh, seam right here. It's glued right down in there. Yeah, you can see it inside there. It's got a bypass valve right here, metal end caps. And this is a strange design. We'll see this when I cut this open. We'll see, you can see it, figure this out. It looks like it's got like two bypass valves on this, but. And, you know, the filter media on both of these, I, I couldn't find any real good numbers anywhere. So, what you see is what you get. But, looking at it, it looks like a, probably a synthetic blend. But, no micron, no micron ratings. They do look pretty similar. As far as the filter media goes. And the male has a coil spring, which weighs 12 grams, and the can weighs 96 grams, and the sob can weighs 81 grams. Let's get some measurements on these guys. 
First I'll do the cans. This can was hard to open up, so I'm going to see if I can figure out here. It's pretty thick. If I get it this way, I probably better get a better measurement. Yeah, 0 0.81. 0 0.79 millimeters. It's pretty thick. This is a thick can. I had a hard time opening it up with my cutter. In the mail, the mail can is 0.54 millimeters. They're both thick cans. Yep, nice cans. Filter media. Well, I'll go like this with it. Two point six one inches, and the male is three point two nine inches. Yeah, I would say the male is going to have more square inches filter media. Okay, I say uh, I'll cut these open, stretch them out, and see how long they are. Okay, so here they are all stretched out. And the male filter is 56 and a half inches long. And the sob filter is 80 inches long. Here they are zoomed out. Okay, so here they are at the seams. Let's get some measurements. This is the sob. Point ninety millimeters. And the male filter is point eight six millimeters. And surprisingly, the sobs has more filter media per square inch because of the length. The sobs longer and the, the male wasn't as long but wider. Yeah, I wish I had some filtration numbers, but I don't have anything. So let's look at the rest of the filter. These filters are definitely unique. For one, okay, this is a sob. It's got this kind of a bypass. And what it does is I can show you this it looks like the because it has nothing else there's no spray in there or anything so it looks like the if it goes into bypass looks like it would come through these holes come out through here and then go up through because this just sits flat right inside the can strange design got a lot of nice holes here though and they're nice and smooth Yeah, I've never seen one like this before. Alright, and this one. This one has a bypass valve down below here, okay? So, take a look at these things. And here's a bypass valve. And then, this sits on top, which also has... I'm going to call it a bypass valve because it's it's definitely a valve. Let's see, it's got it's a lot easier. It goes a lot easier. But still, uh it's kind of strange why you'd have that because your oil has to go through the filter media and through these holes and then has to push this push this to get out. <laughs> strange. Wonder why it has such a thing. I never seen something like that before. So if it goes into bypass mode, it would go through here. This one is a lot harder to push. But that's a strange design.
And, you know, the base plates are, I, I give, they're pretty equal. Same thing with the anti drain back valves. I mean, they cover the holes, they're nitro rubber. Um, oh, this spring actually goes over here. Yeah, because this, this doesn't have nothing. It just sits on the bottom. Sits on the bottom of the can just like this. That's it. Like I said, it's a strange design. I want to thank John for sending me these oil filters. And what do you guys think about these oil filters? Which one would you want in your vehicle? Please post your comments down below. So I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Friday, I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. The Saab Filter Media weighs 30 grams. The Male Filter Media weighs 26 grams.